As the operating speed of electronic circuit increase, signal integrity of printed circuit boards drastically affect system performance. There is an increasing requirement for control impedance PCBs. Impedance tolerance becomes tighter from plus minus 10% to 5%, and impedance measurements with higher accuracy is required as a result. TD oscilloscopes with offset compensation method has been used as a standard measurement solution for PCB impedance measurements. However, it becomes more difficult to achieve measurement accuracy required for the latest digital standards. In this video, we will review the problems in PCB impedance measurements with traditional TDL oscilloscopes and offset compensation method. Then we will introduce Keysight E5063A ENA series PCB analyzer and demonstrate how to achieve higher measurement accuracy for PCB impedance measurements. Here's the measurement setup. We have TDL oscilloscope. Here are blue and purple measurement cables. These cables have different lengths and are made of different materials. We also prepare NIST traceable airlines. NIST stands for National Institute of Standards and Technology, so these airlines are traceable to global standard of impedance from NIST. 50 ohm airline is used as a reference to perform offset compensation. And 25 ohm airline will be used as the device to compare measurement results after compensation. Before performing measurements with TDL oscilloscope, we need to determine offset error in the measurement system using 50 ohm airline as an impedance reference. 50 ohm airline is connected to blue cable, which is connected to channel 1 of TDL oscilloscope. This impedance trace is measurement result at channel 1, with 50 ohm airline connected to the blue cable. As the measurement result shows 51.8 ohm, Channel 1 has 1.8 ohm larger impedance from 50 ohm due to offset error in this channel. We want to offset the measurement value by minus 1.8 ohm so that the adjusted measurement result is the same as the airline impedance of 50 ohm. When we perform measurements in this channel with this blue cable connected, we will always apply minus 1.8 ohm offset values. This is how offset compensation method works. Here is the impedance trace of channel 2 with 50 ohm airline connected to purple measurement cable. The result is 50.2 ohm. We offset measurement value by minus 0 0.2 ohm to adjust measurement results in this channel to 50 ohm airline. The offset values between channel 1 and 2 are different because blue and purple cables have different offset errors. Now let's measure 25 ohm airline and apply offset compensation. This is the impedance trace of channel 1 with 25 ohm airline connected to blue measurement cable. The measurement result is 32.6 ohm. We will put channel 1 result into reference trace and display it in red. This trace will be compared with measurement result at channel 2. Next, we connect 25 ohm airline to purple cable and display the result in channel 2. Measurement result shows 26.7 ohm for channel 2. As you can see, the results are different between channel 1 and 2. So we want to apply offset compensation to both channels to see if the compensated results are the same. Channel 1 should be offset by minus 1.8 ohm and channel 2 by minus 0 0.2 ohm. Despite offset compensation, the results are different from 25 ohm airline. Also, measurement results between channel 1 and 2 are different even after applying offset compensation. Measurements with TDL oscilloscope and offset compensation method cannot completely remove error factors in the measurement system. This result shows that there can be measurement inaccuracy between different channels or different instruments if only performing offset compensation. To understand why offset compensation cannot properly compensate measurement errors, we prepare different impedance standards, 25 ohm, 50 ohm, and 75 ohm, and connect them in series. Then we measure them with a TD oscilloscope, and here's the result. 
and this is offset values required to properly compensate each standard. With different impedance, offset value required for compensation is also different. In other words, offset method can correctly compensate errors only when the standard and device have the same impedance. However, it is often difficult to prepare standards that have the same impedance as devices because normally you don't know your device impedance and that is the objective to perform TDR measurements. In addition, you need to prepare many standards for performing offset compensation if you have devices with various impedance. These reasons make it difficult to measure accurately with offset compensation method. Keysight E5063A ENA series PCB analyzer can solve accuracy problems of PCB impedance tests. E5063A PCB analyzer is designed with dedicated user interface to perform PCB impedance tests at manufacturing. The edit test mode enables engineers to easily create and modify test files via the integrated test file editor with a few mouse clicks. Simple and intuitive user interface in execute test mode simplifies test procedure allowing non-technical operators to perform PCB impedance tests. In addition to the user interface, E5063A PCB analyzer achieves three breakthroughs in PCB impedance test. First of all, the E5063A PCB analyzer provides more measurement accuracy, repeatability, and reproducibility to improved measurement yield. Secondly, more languages are supported to enhance operation efficiency. Lastly, more ESC robustness frees the instrument from ESC damage for lower cost of ownership and less instrument downtime. E5063A PCB analyzer supports full calibration to remove all error factors in measurement systems. Full calibration can be performed fast and easily by using electronic calibration module. E5063A PCB analyzer has a calibration wizard to guide you through calibration steps. Now let's measure 25 ohm airline to verify measurement accuracy of E5063A PCB analyzer with full calibration. 25 ohm airline is connected to blue cable, which is connected to channel 1 of the instrument. This is the measurement result of channel 1 with 25 ohm airline connected to blue cable after performing full calibration. You can see that the measurement result has very good matching with 25 ohm airline. Next, we measure channel 2 with purple cable and 25 ohm airline connected. The result also shows good matching with 25 ohm airline. Even with different cable connected, accurate impedance can be measured at channel 1 and 2 because full calibration removes all error factors in the measurement cables. Let's see how impedance looks like when standards with different impedance are connected in series. As you can see, all the impedance measured match the impedance of airline. Single time full calibration with E5063A PCB analyzer is all you need for accurate measurements in wide impedance range. Here is a summary. Traditional TDR oscilloscopes with offset compensation method can properly compensate measurement errors only when impedance of reference standards and measurement devices match with each other. If impedance does not match, measurement errors are introduced to degrade measurement accuracy. Also, measurement result between different channels and instruments can vary from each other. Keysight E5063A PCB analyzer can perform full calibration for accurate measurement as well as measurement correlation between different channels and instruments. With evolution of various high-speed digital standards, impedance control of printed circuit boards becomes more important. In this video, we compared measurement accuracy between traditional TDR oscilloscopes with offset compensation method and Keysight E5063A ENA series PCB analyzer with full calibration. Keysight E5063A PCB analyzer can provide you more accurate, repeatable, and reproducible measurements at wide impedance range, which helps you with 
better measurement correlation and yield that are required for the latest PCB impedance test.